Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm going to show you how to enable Outlook, Yahoo, or Gmail keyboard shortcuts in Outlook. So keep watching if you would like to learn how to enable shortcuts in Outlook, or you already use shortcuts in Yahoo or Gmail, and you want to learn how to enable the same shortcuts in Outlook. If you want to learn how to use shortcuts, check out the videos linked down below. All right, we're going to dive in, and I'm going to read first, and then we're going to demo. So how to enable Outlook, Yahoo, or Gmail shortcuts in Outlook. Settings, search Outlook settings, shortcuts, and then select, uh, select keyboard shortcuts or just hit enter. Uh, finally, note the directory location to see where you're at and those settings exist if you desire. Uh, select your desired shortcut settings, which uh, you have a number of options, and then click Save. All right, so let's check this out. Settings wheel right here, up top, top right-hand corner. Click on that, and then put your cursor in the Search Outlook Settings box right up here. Type Shortcuts. And you can see it's already figuring it out before I get there. But I'll finish typing it. And I could either click on keyboard shortcuts right here, or I can just hit enter. And Outlook is smart enough to take me directly to the right location. And as you can see here, currently uh, I have Outlook settings on. I'm going to switch those to Gmail. Uh, I could also pick Outlook.com, Yahoo Mail, or turn off keyboard shortcuts. But we're going to we're going to select Gmail. I'm going to pause and remind you to, to note your, your location here, general, accessibility, and then of course this is where we're at here. And then I'm going to click save, and we're going to be all done. That's it. So if I do a control alt C, uh, you'll see some confetti, because <laughs> it was that easy. Uh, how to view shortcuts. If you're like, I turn them on, but what do they mean? Uh, very easy to figure that out. Uh, there's a shortcut for that, and it is shift question mark or question mark because you have to push the shift key to make it work. Anyways, uh, so if I make my screen just a little bit bigger, the ugly ad goes away and shift question mark. So here we go. There are all your shortcuts. And depending on which ones you have turned on, it will present to you the correct screen. You'll note most of them are pretty much all the same, uh, but there are some minor differences. All right, so that's how you find and learn all your shortcuts. What else, Josh? That's it. Uh, if you would like to learn the pro tip of today, which is to use shortcuts like a superhuman, uh, we just covered enabling keyboard shortcuts. That was it. Uh, if using shortcuts to help you crush your inbox, if that is of interest to you, uh, then learn how to use shortcuts in Outlook in video number 60 linked down below. Want more? Uh, this video brought the know-how. Uh, check out my other videos to learn the know-why. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, share. Of course, it helps the channel, and I appreciate it. And please remember, uh, me and this outline are linked in the comments down below. And if you leave questions, as always, I will leave answers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.